Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your uh, weekly tarot insight. The way I do these readings, weekly readings, is I pull three cards. Um, one is in the position of the main opportunity for the week. The second one being the main challenge. And the third one being the overall advice. I also pull an extra card um, from the... Osho Zen Tarot, I don't know if you know it, which is a, a much less traditional uh, tarot, which gives more uh, spiritual uh, advice, um, a Zen advice, connecting the surrounding energy for the week. So, in the position of the main opportunity, you have the Four of Pentacles. And <clears throat> The Four of Pentacles, um, it's a card that talks a little bit about being holding on tightly uh, to whatever we value, to whatever we feel like we need to contain, um, either inside of ourselves or outside of ourselves. It could be, it could be a possessive state of handling situations. But it could also be a very structured, a very grounded, a very smart, business-oriented way of uh, knowing how to deal with resources, of knowing how to uh, preserve your values. However, the other cards in your reading suggest that um, this real this week it's really focused on relationships. So I think this attitude, like a little bit more closed attitude or more structured structured attitude, is um, concerning and dealing with the relationship you have with an outside partner, um, with yourself, with family, with friends. But I'm getting the sense it's about relationships because we have three cards of relationships following this one. So as a main opportunity, I think, uh, I feel that you are being given the opportunity this week to open up to uh, the most innocent and even naive side of love. Uh, whichever way you want to look for love, the only way you're going to feel it in an actual truthful way is when we, you, you trust and you open yourself up to receive that feeling. And I also say this because as the main challenge, you have the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups is a very long, naive, energy uh, in its cups. So it talks about emotions, the emotional self, it talks about creativity and, and art, and it talks about love and relationships. So it's it's um, contradicting, con it's being, uh, it's opposing each other in a way, because in one side you have um, a card that talks about preserving, closing, maintaining, possessing. And the challenge is this cup being open to subtle realms of love. It's like leaving the innocent uh, child love. It's receiving gifts. It's receiving sweet words, sweet messages, and allowing it to come into you, or you expressing it towards others. So I feel that um, as a main challenge, you have to open up to maybe you've lost the, um, or you think you've lost the ability to trust or the ability to just allow things to happen in its course. And maybe this week you'll be uh, faced with the opportunity to realize that that energy is still inside of you. Geminis are, I don't like the word superficial, but 
you can really see love in a much more detached and light way. And by the way, Venus is entering your sign, um, just entered your sign, I mean, on Sunday. So it's really synchronic with these cards. I think um, this card talks about Venus and Taurus uh, phase where you're more uh, closed within yourself and with your values and you're holding on to your fronts and now you've been given the opportunity to open up and let love come into your life and when I mean love it could be love in any um, kind of way it doesn't always have to be a relationship with other person however the advice is the two of cups again and you can see the couple in here being blessed with two cups equal partners so in Whichever way you're being open up to relate with people in a whole new way, in a much open, equal, balanced way, where the, the things you take and receive, I mean, give and receive, are exactly the same. So, as an advice, I think um, it's about you, you. You, you could have the tendency to be a little bit, uh, how you say, dualistic, to be like um, overall, over and all, ch all changing all the time, uh, even in relationships. So you can uh, realize this week that in order for you to have a balanced relationship with yourself and with people, you need to find a balance between the darker and lighter aspects of your being, the duality in your being, and uh, bringing it into a oneness. Actually, because uh, that's uh, uh, that has to do a lot with the way we uh, relate with others. Others are projections, are projections of ourselves, and we can take it as uh, being hardships or awareness towards flaws or things we need to work on within our own behavior. So in whichever way this plays out for you, it's really about you finding, opening up to a whole new level of relating, of equally uh, sharing um, your love with the, the, the people you care about in your life, the people that may come into your life. And uh, it's really promising, actually. You could take the best of this Venus in your sign energy, which only happens once in a year, and it's like a, a, a transit about three weeks, four weeks, and you can really take it in and enjoy and begin a whole new cycle of Venus, a whole new cycle of love. The Zen message, curiously enough, is also relationship cards, which is the lovers. The name is the same in the traditional tarot and the major arcanas. So the lovers, again, either is about you being finding a way of balancing your relationships, a way of opening opening up your heart to love in a real way, in an unconditioned unconditional way, where you don't project constantly, where you don't project into the other person or the other person projecting to you their frustrations, their traumas, their needs, but also just enjoying the relationship with each other in the present moment with feeling whole and satisfied with the, the uniqueness of each uh, individual which forms the partnership. So um, again, it could also has to do with choices and the choices we sometimes need to make on life uh, to choose a path in whichever way it is, again, is always reminding you the importance of connecting with the heart, in opening up with the heart, and the opportunity this week is really to open up. 
and to receive love and to give love and to allow it to to speak to speak for itself in the course of the week so i hope you enjoyed the reading um have a great week and we'll see each other in the next video